So in this video, we're going to be doing uh, question three from your uh, from your notes over here. Um, so we have an unknown element that has two isotopes. The first isotope has a mass of 6 AMU. So that's the first isotope, a mass of 6 AMU, and a relative abundance of 7.5. And the second isotope has a mass of 7 AMU and a relative abundance of 92.5. Determine the identity of the unknown isotope. So that's really your question here. That's your purpose of the question, to determine the identity of the unknown isotope. Basically, what element are you dealing with? Um, and so we've given you enough information to find an average atomic mass. And you can use that average atomic mass in your periodic table to hone in on which element you're talking about. Let's just write out some given information. I always like to have a planning step first. So I always like to plan something out and write down what I'm given. So plan. Um, so isotope one, isotope one, uh, we have its uh, mass in AMU, so mass in AMU, and we also have its uh, percent abundance. And so what I'm doing is I'm creating a table similar to um, what we had in question one up here, where I have the isotope, the atomic mass, and then the uh, relative abundance there. Or the mass number and then the relative abundance. So, and I also have the same thing for isotope two. So I have all that information there. Uh, and I'm gonna write that information out here. So this is six AMU and the percent abundance was 7.5 um, and the units are in percent. And then the uh, isotope two was seven AMU and the percent abundance is 92.5. And, and hopefully you're noticing that the, um, if you, as long as you have all the isotopes there, um, in the question, the percent abundance will add up to 100%, right? Because this is a collection of all the isotopes that exist. So 7.5 plus 92.5 is 100%. And so we, what we, we want to do is we want to calculate the average atomic mass. So that, that'll be our first uh, real calculation step. So the average um, mass is going to be equal to the mass of the first isotope, so 6 AMU times the percent abundance. So don't forget, this is divided by 100 here. So you can get the percentage and be careful. So this is 0 0.075, not 0 0.75 because that would be 75%. So times 0 0.075 and just be very careful with that. Double check, sometimes even simple math when you're doing a test, assessment or quiz or whatever, you might get a little bit nervous and then make a mistake in your head. So it's okay to double check on your calculator for something simple like that. Plus the other isotope, 7 AMU, times, don't forget, divide by 100 to get the percentage expressed as a decimal there. Um, and so you get 0 0.925, so 0 0.925. And let's go ahead and try that out. So 6, so I'll open my brackets, 6 times 0 0.075 plus seven times, whoops, seven times 0.925. And I get approximately 6.925 atomic mass units as the average atomic mass. Um, and so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go and uh, find the average mass from step two up here in the periodic table to determine the uh, element in the question. And so if I go to the periodic table, let's go ahead here, we had 6.925. So we have to find the mass because we found the mass that's close to 6.925. So remember mass is kind of go up as you go this way. So we have one, 
uh, four, so that's a little too low. Um, oh, six point nine four. Let's just make sure there's nothing else closer to that. Okay, nine point oh one. After that, it's all pretty. It's all very, very high from there. Way, way too much above the six point nine two five. The six point nine four um, seems very close to that six point nine two five there. Um, our periodic table is rounded at two decimal places, um, so uh, that's why it won't be exactly the same as you, you have in that question because there's three decimal places there. Um, but that's very close to our um, to the mass we calculated. So it looks like the uh, element that we're dealing with is lithium. So let's go ahead and uh, just, I'm going to draw that in here so you can see. So when we look at lithium in the periodic table, lithium like this, element number three, 6.94, that's what seems to match um, the calculation we, we uh, the number we calculated in the question over here. So since uh, the average mass of lithium in the periodic table is 6.94 AMU uh, and oops, and the calculated Average mass is 6.925 AMU. The unknown element is lithium. And so this is really step three, and we'll call this step four. This is kind of our concluding statement here. When you do um, the two dots on top and then the one dot at the bottom, this means um, since, and then the other way around where it was like this, that meant therefore. So just sometimes you want to write things a bit more quickly. You can use those little tricks like that. Um, so that's the unknown element over here. And I usually like to kind of put the uh, final answer really in a box so it's easy for you to remember what you were looking for. And I go back and look at the question as well and just make sure I got everything that I was supposed to do. I was supposed to determine the identity of the unknown element. And so I did a little bit of a planning phase here where I showed a bit of my work and I knew what the questions were all about. Um, and then afterwards, I did my calculation for the average mass because I figured, okay, if I find the average mass, then I can go find in the periodic, match it to what to uh, the mass in the periodic table for an element. So I decided to do that first. And then I just briefly explained the rationale with what I was doing with that number. I was going to periodic table to determine um, the element by matching the mass from what I calculated in step two over here. So notice numbering the steps makes things a lot easier for you. And then step four, you just kind of give your conclusion based on what you found in the periodic table. Um, and so it happens to be lithium. So if you keep your work organized like that, it's going to be a lot easier for uh, me to give you some good feedback on, but also for you to uh, understand what you're doing and not get lost in the in the confusion and the mess of a question sometimes.